My name is Marty Durkin. I'm the planning technical lead on the Miami-Dade County Coastal Storm Risk Management Feasibility Study. So this study kicked off about four years ago. It's funded 100% um, federally as part of the 2018 supplemental bill. Uh, we've been working on it for the last four years with uh, Miami-Dade County, who's a non-federal sponsor. And the, the main objective we're looking to do is address the erosion and flooding and wave attack and these problems that are associated with coastal storms and we're looking to reduce the coastal storm risk along the Atlantic Ocean shoreline of Miami-Dade County. This study is recommending continued beach nourishment on just over six miles of shoreline that's going to stretch from uh, the Baker's Hallover Inlet uh, through Ball Harbor, Surfside, and through uh, Miami Beach down to about R57. And then we're gonna have a series of groins in the Ball Harbor area that uh, are gonna help stabilize and control the erosion. And recently in this area, a lot of our beach nourishment projects have, have used truck haul, where they're bringing in sand from upland mines, trucking it onto the beach. Moving into the future, what we're recommending with this plan is we're gonna be um, using a lot of the sand that's already in the system because it's, it's more economical to do that, it's more efficient. And also we'll be, we'll be using newly identified offshore sand sources for, for getting sand onto the beach. So this study's basically gonna ensure the continued coastal storm risk management for the shoreline of Dade County between Baker's Hallover and Government Cut.